Hi, and welcome to the Zara Cloud tutorial series. In this video, I'll walk you through how to create a visually stunning presentation. Let's get started. We're starting in the file picker. Here, you have an overview of our template categories. Let's pick presentations. You can now see all of our presentation templates. Today, we're working with the pitch theme. We can now choose between opening the entire deck by selecting Open All or adding pages individually. Let's add our pages individually by choosing the cover slide to begin with. The cover page opens in the document editor. You can now add other pages by clicking the plus icon at the bottom left of the page. This opens the theme folder and we can select our next slides. Let's repeat this step until we have the story we want to present. You can also duplicate, add blank or delete slides in the document editor. Here, we're going to duplicate a slide that will inherit the properties of the previous slide. We can then adjust individual elements by simply clicking on a slide you want to duplicate and then click Duplicate. Don't forget to save your document. Click on the Documents menu in the upper left corner and then click Save, and then choose your cloud storage location. Let's customize our cover slide. To edit the text, click on the text and the cursor will appear in the text box. Now type in your headline. Next, let's change the image. Firstly, click on the image and select Replace. The image options will now appear in the panel on the right hand side. You can choose either an image that you stored locally or pick one of our high quality free stock photos by clicking Free Stock Photo. You can now search by keyword. Select the desired photo and it will replace the current photo. Let's move on to our second slide. Here, I want to change the title of this slide to Company Background. On our next slide, we'll work with Smart Shapes. We are using arrows to help visualize our workflow. Smart Shapes are customizable shapes which you can easily personalize. Simply just click on your shape and select these handles. Next, let's add in a new icon that suits our slide. Click on the symbol, click on Replace Symbol and choose With Symbol. Use a keyword to quickly find what you need. Let's select the cog. Now we're going to customize our next slide to showcase our expansion plans. First, we need to change the heading. We can now delete the objects we don't want by simply clicking on the objects and selecting Delete. Now all that we have left is the header, so let's add in some new elements. First off, we're going to import a computer screen. Start by clicking on the Add icon and select Photo Grids. There you'll find a library of photo elements. Let's find a perfect photo for our screen. Click on the screen and then on Replace. Select Local File and pick your desired photo. For this slide we're also going to add a world map diagram. Open the diagram category. Click on Diagrams and choose the world map. Finally, let's add in some text. Click the Add icon and select Text Category. Choose a preformatted text box and position it on your slide. Then simply add in your descriptive text. On this slide, we'll replace a bar chart with a pie chart. Click on Add and then select the Chart Category. All charts are fully customizable to fit your data. Use the adjustment handles or enter a numeric value to personalize. Moving on. All we need to do on our team slide is replace the photos. Click on the photos, then click on Replace. We will then replace them with our own local files. Now, adjust the names and titles. The contact slide is our final slide. Replace the text with your contact information. Then, replace the photo with a free stock photo. We're searching for the keyword contact. Now we can change the web link to take us straight to our website. Copy your web address and click this link icon. Paste your web address and click OK. This template includes placeholder logos. Let's add in our own logo. Click on the logo, click replace logo and then choose with image, then local file or you can also access your logo from cloud storage. Locate your file and click open. The only thing we have left to do now is add our logo to the cover and contact slides. Click the add icon, click on the image category, then select local file or cloud storage. Locate your logo and click open. 
reposition or scale if needed. Now, we can share our file with a colleague or client. Click the share icon in the status bar and choose share editing. Add in a colleague's email, add a message if required and click share. They will then receive an email notification. That's it, we're done. Why not spend the next five minutes checking out the rest of our beautiful templates and go create something amazing.